Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Audit in Yorkshire. Today, I have popped along to, I don't know if you can see it, Her Majesty's Young Offenders Institution, Weatherby. And they're recruiting. Visit jobs.justice.gov.uk and search Weatherby Young Offenders Institution. So I was just passing this place and I thought I would see if I can have a quick look round. <coughs> I've just checked the geozone for this place and I should be all good to fly from the main road. Now there's a public bus stop there so I'll probably just stand next to that and send the drone up and get some aerial shots. It, there appears to be some houses next to, um, like literally right next door to this prison. Anyway guys, uh, bear with me, I've got some information for you. I am however having to read it off um off the internet so hmp young offenders institution weatherby is a male juveniles prison located in weatherby west yorkshire the prison is operated by her majesty's prison service now then Weatherbait was introduced into the prison system in 1958 as a borstal. Since that time, there's been many changes in its role from an open youth custody centre to a closed youth custody centre to its current role as a dedicated male juvenile prison housing inmates aged 15 to 17. In February 2016, it was revealed that all of the detainees were on lockdown due to a rising levels um, of violence against staff and other detainees. The unrest continued for two months and culminated in a prison officer being stabbed. Well that's not good is it? It houses offenders who are from Humberside, North, South and West Yorkshire and parts of Lancashire and Greater Manchester. Its functional capacity is 276 day, uh, detainees, however, the Ministry of Justice lists the operational capacity as being 336 detainees. So this, um, this next bit is quite interesting. So this place is home to the United Kingdom's only behind bars army cadet unit. It aims to allow cadets to decouple from the social circles that cause them to offend and offers basic life and organisation skills as found in the British Army. <coughs> Some gates open there but I think that might be a staff car park. I'm not too sure as to why they're open because there's so much barbed wire, razor wire around the top of the fence and the fence is obviously really high, yet the gates are wide open. Uh, notable inmates, Will Cornick, never heard of him, was initially jailed at Weatherby for the murder of his school teacher, but was later transferred to HM Prison Hindley due to fears for his safety. That's quite interesting. What have we got here? Notice to professional domestic visitors, please attend the visitors centre before entering the establishment. Please deposit all personal items in the lockers provided. You are reminded it is, an, it is a criminal offence to bring or attempt to bring into the establishment any unauthorised article. I.e. mobile phones, contraband and nail files. <laughs> so this is a list of banned items. That's, that goes quite in depth, but if you want to uh, pause that and read it at your own leisure, you can do. All living accommodation in the prison is 
in single occupancy cells. The living accommodation is split into six living units. It houses 60 trainees in each one. Yeah, look, we found a salt bin. Oh, God. Rubbish bin, more like. So, but, um, there's two brick built units that were built in the 70s, <coughs> and four quick build ready to use units that were erected in 97. An additional self contained unit for, bu for vulnerable boys in custody is officially opened. Uh, that was quite some time ago, back in 2009, for vulnerable children. Um, I've lost where I'm at now. So yeah, they offer enhanced support including individual care plans, extended enrichment opportunities exclusive to the Keppel unit, such as weekly park run, where the trainees are offered the chance to stroll or complete for lap times around the pond and surrounding recreational pitches. And small animals where the trainees can handle and assist in caring of rabbits and various breeds of duck. The enhanced supervision unit was opened in 2019 and uh, provides additional care and support for six young males. You'll have to, uh, you'll have to bear with me because the sun is absolutely unbearable today. And then it just goes on about a load of crap from, uh, from like the pastime stuff you don't even need to know about really. So it opened in 1958. The governor is Craig Lau. Security class juvenile males. And that's pr pretty much it. If there's anything else you guys want to know about it, you can uh, get yourself onto the um, HMP Weatherby Wikipedia page. But um, yeah, nice big ground. Um, big car park, plenty of room to accommodate. So there's some more, oh, this is the main entrance, you have custody service. Um, see what literature we can get off here. The people committee calendar, April 22. Oh, that's well out of date, isn't it? Visitors protect yourself and others from coronavirus, wear a face mask. Please read the following rules. Hey, so if you're trying to uh, attempt to make an escape for a prisoner, the maximum penalty is 10 years. That's not good. Again, guys, you can, uh, you can pause that and read it at your own leisure. couple of all drivers contractors are subjected to a visual search so I imagine this is the, the main gate where the uh, prison vehicle comes in now uh, there's a couple of gripes with this place obviously the huge um, gigantic gate at the beginning when we first walked in not sure why that's open, but we'll try and find out. The salt bin being used as a rubbish bin. It's never good when that happens. We've got the visitor centre with what looks like 
there used to be some sort of like little, little play area for kiddies. <coughs> no swings on there though. It's not good, is it? Weatherbit area offices, Weatherbit Estates Department. I'm not sure what the Estates Department is, but we are on the we are on the publicly accessible bit, guys. So <coughs> we'll have a walk down. Let's see what's going on. Tons and tons of rock salt. Yet none in the bin. This just looks like it's back at visitors area. Yorkshire Pensions Group, Director's Office. I'm not sure what that's about guys um, as you're well aware I'm, um, I've only been doing this for about a month of sort of saw something like that so if um, if there's things I'm not doing what you think I should be doing please let me know in the comments because uh, all all comments are appreciated apart from the negative salty ones Director's office to get him there. The Young Offenders Institution. That's been there for quite a while. Amney. They're the guys who run the prison, I believe. Site offices down there. I will be on CCTV, guys, guaranteed. I'm surprised no one's come out to see me yet. All drivers and visitors must report to the site office danger moving vehicles well, I'm not sure what's down here but again we've got gates open I don't know if this is sort of like the uh, you know when you get like facilities management on uh, on buildings on government buildings I think I think this might must be something like that there's more gates open down there so we're um, let's go down and have a look stuff it authorised persons prohibited oh unauthorised persons prohibited be on this point Well, I'm not being funny, guys, but if you don't want people coming in, you should lock your gates. And, and this is the point I always try and make about the um, the Section 33 Criminal Justice Act 1972. You know, implied rights of access. People mourn about them, and the police mourn about them, and government officials mourn about them. But nobody actually does anything to um, <clears throat> to prevent people from just wandering in off the street, <clears throat> which is what I've just done today. I'm not going to go down there because I don't lead to anywhere. But yeah, I mean, uh, I've done one prison which were in Armley in Leeds and that was very secure but uh, to be honest it just looks like a free-for-all in this place
not even sure where the site office is this, apparently there's a site office down here ENG main entrance Ah, this just takes you, takes you back out. This just takes you back out to the uh, car park. Not good guys, not good at all. So like I said, I mean, I've done Armley Prison, that's the only one I've done, apart from this. And obviously you could walk in off the street and go to, go to reception and things speak to prison staff I can't see anything like that here there's signs for a sign off site office down where we've just come from can't find no site office Showing at me. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's no um, restricted what I can see, is there? There is. Uh, in, is there? In, inside the prison, yes. Oh, this isn't inside the prison, though, is it? It is. Well, you need, you, you, need, you need to get rid of these grills. There's, there's quite a few things wrong with this place. Okay, well, if you'd like to go on the website and, and report some things. Yeah, can we do that? Who do we do that to? Uh, the HMB website, sir. Yeah. That yard over there. What's got about a 20 foot high fence and um, <coughs> gates up? Well, what's in there? Is it just parking? That's just extra car parking, sir, yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, I didn't go in because obviously it looks very secure, but the gates are open, so I thought I'd ask that question. Yeah. Um, site office, can't find a site office. Have you got a, like a reception area where you can go speak to uh, not in the moment, no. prison staff? No. Has, has there ever been one? Uh, not as far as I'm aware, but any information you need to find, you can go on the website and... Uh, well, I know that, but I'm here now, so I might as well ask you. So, if, if I came here to speak to someone, how, how would I speak to someone? Just ring that bell there and someone comes uh, to, to get? Well, no, unfortunately, no. <laughs> so, it doesn't work like that. Does it not? No. It's very strange, isn't it? I've, I've been to another prison and obviously, I, I mean, this is Young Offenders, isn't it? But it's kind of the same thing isn't it it's still prison isn't it is that right it's a secured lo location secured location yeah um but yeah definitely get the you see this middle panel here like at the bottom here you could do with getting one of them going all the way up because then that way people won't be able to look through these and into your yard your compound bit okay just just a suggestion also what are your opening hours we don't really have opening hours. You don't? No. All right. It says 24 hours a day online. I don't know yeah. if you knew that. Yeah, well. 24 hours, Monday to Sunday. Never shuts, apparently. So what I can do, I could... Um, do, do, do you have opening hours or not? Well, I, I can't actually disclose that to you. Any information you need to find out, you can go on the website. Right. right. May, I, may I make a suggestion, man? Um, either yourself or somebody else goes on and, and makes a Google suggested edit to to get that 24 hours a day opening hours changed right otherwise it's I don't know if it's ever caused right, any sorry, problems me, it could do possibly in the future So, um, not very helpful, eh? Not very helpful at all. But yeah, I mean, if you want your privacy and you don't want people uh, recording through your fence, block it off. Don't have grills in it. You know, block that off. The main gate where the, where the prison van goes in, block that off because of Armley and other prison buildings. It's all sealed. All just big, massive, non-see-through doors. So, it's a case of uh, tough. Is 
Is there anybody in here who I can speak to who's in charge? No idea. Probably not this time of Saturday. No idea. If you could, uh, do you mind passing a message on to like a supervisor or some of them? Uh, depending what it is. Um, it's just use of, use of a drone. Drone? Yeah, yeah, use of a drone. I'm going to be whipping one up into the sky very shortly. Just thought I'd let you know out of courtesy. That's one thing, um, another thing I haven't seen actually. Yeah, we don't have drones, so we won't let you come right off. No, no drones on. Well. They don't seem to give a, give a damn, never. Well, I'm not going to whip the drone over. It's just going to go up. Yeah, so, um, just a, yeah. It literally just dawned on me that there's no, there's no drone signs anywhere telling people not to use them, which is rather strange. But all in all, I mean, this place has got its faults. I mean, if it's like this on the inside, I dread to think what it's like on the, um, sorry. If it's like this on the outside, I dread to think what it's like on the inside. That's what I meant to say. But um, yeah, quite quite a few things uh, quite a few things wrong going on here. And the guy I spoke to didn't really seem to to give a toss, and neither did them too. Well, it's been kind of, uh, kind of an all right day for it. Only one interaction today with police and that were the um, two lovely sergeants at Harrogate Police Station, which is on another video. To be fair, it don't look like they need extra parking guys because It's um, it's empty. Yeah, you're not getting out of there, though, are you? I mean, even even if you somehow manage to to scale that fence, which I don't think you'd be able to do, you're not you're not getting out of there. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about, guys. So you've got your grills, and then you've got your solid metal sheets behind it and that's uh, what that's what they should have on their front doors if they don't want people to film inside them right guys I'm gonna um, I'm gonna come back to you with some drone footage Right guys, this is the closest I can get to the prison with the drone. It just wouldn't, um, I mean I'm down here, all the way down here and you can clearly see that I'm not in the geo zone, but it wouldn't let me it, it, it just from the main road a little bit further up it it, it was hovering and it, it just wouldn't even let me um control you know the side to side movements it just wouldn't let me now um i've never had that happen before so the the restrictive geo zones on these things are really top notch to be honest with you i just want to see if i can get Um, a bit better zoom I'm not sure if I go 30 frames per second if it'll let me zoom in anymore it won't but, um, but yeah that's the um, that's the 
main gate there where I went to. And then sort of goes through and that's your prison guys. And uh comes all the way all the way back here. I'm not sure if I think that's part of prison. I'm not 100 percent sure to be honest. Maybe it's some kind of exercise yard. And then you've got all the way back there. Which looks like I'm not sure if that's part of prison. I think it is. I think all this all that's part of prison, I think. Right, so the fence ends there. So that's not part of prison, I don't think. But I think all that, um, I think all that at the top is. Uh, playing fields and, and all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, it don't look, from a distance, it don't look very, very big. Still want one to uh, live in there, like. But yeah, that is um, an aerial shot of Armley Prison. And I've had to walk. Probably about 500 yards down the road to, to just get out of the geo zone because it just physically wouldn't allow me to take off. As you can see, I'm all the way down here. And the prison's up there, so you, I mean, you can see the map on screen anyway. I'm, I'm well out of the geo zone. But yeah, for any of you, um, for any smart asses out there which seem to think you can fly over a prison at 400 feet you can't it physically won't let you not on one of these drones anywhere which is a dji mini 2 so there you have it guys that is hmp uh, weatherby young offenders um yeah the only i've only got a couple of gripes of this place obviously um that big gate being open but they said it were an overflow car park uh, overflow parking which we've got overflow parking down here so which is about uh, 500 yards down the road which is the only place that let me fly my drone so the obviously they're just lazy and we don't want to walk up from there up there uh, salt bin full of rubbish uh, unable to locate the site office I mean, one of the staff members telling me um, we don't have a reception. Um, the opening hours are wrong, 24 hours a day, according to the online. And uh, yeah, uh, don't be recording through through the door where it's got the grills. Well, cover them up. But yeah, it's uh, it's been an interesting day to say the least. And uh, to be honest with you, I, I, I mean, I don't know what the inside of this prison's like, but if it's all like the outside, I'd probably probably mark it by about three out of ten. Disgraceful. But anyway, guys, I am gonna um, I'm gonna wrap it up. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.